This is a pretty simple video and was mostly brought about by just having a spark of inspiration upon seeing these boxes of sporting clays. It was about 6 bucks for 90 of these and we figured it'd be pretty cool to set a bunch of them up in a line and shoot through them. This was partially inspired by a video we recorded in 2013 where we shot through a trio of ceramic plates. This is one of my personal favorite high speed shots we've ever recorded and I'd like to recreate it in the future, but today we're doing this a little bit differently with the sporting clays. To hold all the clays in a line, we did this pretty much as simply as possible and stuck a whole lot of nails in a wooden board. And there we go, there is our target holder. And for this video we took the board out to the farm and we'll shoot it with a couple of different firearms. And to start, we'll space out 12 clays across our stand. And we decided to start with not the slowest bullets that we'll be shooting, but the least powerful. So first up we have Rob shooting his 1022 chambered in 22 long rifle. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, it went all the way through. <laughs> nice. I didn't expect that. Okay. As we saw, even the humble 22 lr made it all the way through the clays. The centers are pretty thin, so I guess it makes sense. And next up we'll be using a larger bullet that's also the slowest cartridge we had on hand. This time, the clays are up against a Taurus Raging Bull firing a 45 Colt cartridge. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah, pretty similar. It knocks some of them over, but that's about it. That one definitely did more damage, but it still hit fairly center and just went through all of the clays. So how about a similar bullet that's a little bit lighter, but a little bit faster. Next up is a Sig Sauer 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh. Nice, cool. They're all gone. <laughs> This is a pretty interesting one because until we saw the high speed we weren't entirely sure what happened. The bullet hit low and left which meant it was hitting the outside edges of the clays. And this, instead of just punching a hole in the center, made them all fail catastrophically. Then we were able to look at the board and see that the bullet actually ricocheted off of it. It also bent a few nails, so we'll have to straighten those back out. And for more of a fair comparison to the other cartridges, we decided to give the 45 ACP another shot and took aim again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That looks better. That looks good. Once again, the bullet hit a bit left, but it didn't go low, so it didn't bounce off the board and we have a bit of a better comparison. And that'll do it for the smaller cartridges, so we'll jump right to one that's much more powerful and much faster, an Air-15 firing a 223 Remington. Three, two, one. Nice. Three, two, one. Nice. 
pretty good. And now we'll step it up one more time to an AR chambered in 308 Winchester. And since we're quite confident that this will have no issue going through all of the clays, we'll go ahead and use all of them up and set up 23 on the Three, board. Two, one. I hit him. I think he did good. Looks good to me. And that'll about do it. I'm not sure we learned anything today other than that these sporting clays are fragile, which is really their purpose, but it sure was fun smashing a whole bunch of them, and I think we got some pretty interesting high speeds out of it.